Hey there folks, yesterday I warned you guys that I was going to be retiring a bunch of teams this update cycle. This is the first team uh, to get the axe. This is my Chuck team, my first singles team for Black and White. It was a team that predated Smog on Tears for Black and White. Um, it's gone through ex an extreme number of revisions. I think there were a total of 12 Pokemon in all that at one point were on this team. Um, and this is kind of the iteration that I liked best. Uh, Karakasta Man went through so many changes. Uh, Jufro, my uh, Whimsicott, disappeared and then came back. But anyway, final battle with this team. Uh, it's against MQ18 of Smogon. We met through the Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder. I lead off with my Jufro, hoping that he would lead off with his Ferrothorn. Indeed he did, and so I just go off with a taunt. Actually, I was thinking he would probably lead off with Politoed, in which case go for the Giga Drain. And, as, and that should be fine. Um, but anyway, taunting his Jirachi, I figure, okay, well that didn't really help matters because he's probably scarfed, so not that big of a deal. He goes out into Gengar, and I'm thinking, actually, this is okay, I've got the Specs Dart Pulse, so let's just take out a Gengar. He goes for the Shadow Ball, and I'm thinking, I can take that, and he gets a crit that takes out my uh, Rotom Heat Form. Uh, I'm suspecting that this guy's also Specs. Uh, I'll put up the counts in the annotations, but I think based on this damage right here that he actually is Timid Specs. So go for the Psy Shock here, and it's going to manage to one-hit KO Gengar. So that is a dead Gengar, and we it is 5-5. Five, five. Still was not the most auspicious start for the battle because without Rotom Heat Form, uh, I don't have too much for Ferrothorn. So he goes out into his own Jirachi. Uh, I just decided well, I'll see what he's going to do. He goes ahead and sets up Stealth Rock, I go for the Wish, and so here I see, well, he's probably not Scarfed after all, although actually some Scarfers do run the move, but here he shows me he's definitely not Scarfed, he has the U-Turn, U-Turns out. I'm not actually sure what item he's running, um, as you'll see later, it's not Leftovers, so anyway, he goes out into Ferrothorn here. I go for the Calm Mind. Unfortunately, Ferrothorn completely walls my Jirachi. I would have to get to plus six to do any sort of meaningful damage against him. I do get off my Wish, though, and now I'm at full health. I go for another Wish just to kind of scout out his set. He goes for the Leech Seed. Okay, so it's a Leech Seed set. Good to know. Probably going to set up Spikes or Stealth Rock. Well, probably not Stealth Rock because his Jirachi has Stealth Rock. I'm going to go ahead and switch out. I have Dawn Fan for spinning, but I decide, what the hell, let's go out and to Puff my Magic Dragonite. I don't think he's got the T-Wave or the Will-O-Wisp, but even if he does, I've got the Lumberry, so I figure get off some Dragon Dances, uh, hit him with a Fire Punch, and that will take him out. So here he set up Entry Hazard's first turn, so here he's going to go ahead and set up Leech Seed. That is okay. That means he's not getting any status off me, and I'm thinking, I can just keep on setting up. I can keep on getting Dragon Dances off, and maybe I can sweep through his whole team. Here he decides to switch out into Hitmontop, and that's going to, even though I'm going to get off the second Dragon Dance, it's going to mean that I am going to be at plus one rather than plus two. I believe this set that I settled on for Puff My Magic Dragonite was a bulky Dragonite, so not running max attack. So when I go for the Outrage, uh, Outrage instead of Dragon Claw, I used to run Dragon Claw, I go for the Outrage, it's not going to take out Hitmontop, he survives on just a little bit of HP, uh, but if he survived that means that he's more of a bulky set, meaning that Stone Edge wasn't going to take me out unless he got a crit. I really wish it had missed, but uh, oh well, I can't have all the hacks in the world. So here he's going to withdraw him on top. Excellent move. Go out into Ferrothorn. At my level of health, even if I survive the Iron Barb's damage, Leech Seed will kill me. So get off a decent amount of damage against Ferrothorn, but this is going to mean that Puff My Magic Dragonite is going to go down, and I have no more Pokemon with Fire-type moves, meaning this Ferrothorn is now going to completely wall my team. So that was where some pretty bad plays on my end. Oh well. Going to go out into Peanut here. I mean, if I set up Stealth Rocks, Hit him on top at pretty low HP. It should mean that I can't. Maybe he'll die on Switch, and I don't think his health is that low, but at least it'll mean that he will die really easily. And if he sends out, sends out against uh, Dawn Fan, I can probably take him out with an Ice Shard. Anyway, he goes ahead and seeds me here. I'm thinking he. I'm not sure what his attacking moves are, whether he has any attacking moves. I'm thinking it's probably Gyro Ball based on the fact that he's not using a, a super effective grass type move against my peanut. But then again, maybe he just wants to recover health with Leech Seed. So here he goes for the Protectus. I go for Stealth Rock. I'd like to say I predicted that, but I didn't. It just happened to work out really nicely. So. That is a pretty good situation for me. He's got no hazards up. I've got my hazards up. 
I am going to want to switch out now because the Leech Seed is slowly sapping my health. I go out into Jufro thinking he's probably going to... I don't know what he's going to do, but he sets up spikes, so now there's one layer of spikes up. I'm okay with that. Uh, he's going to go ahead and switch out into Hitmontop as I just go for the taunt to prevent him from setting up any other entry hazards. And I think he... I really am starting to think that he might not have any attacking moves. So I go for the taunt. Uh, taunt at Hitmontop doesn't really do me much good, but... Whatever, it's not like he uh, presents him from rapid spinning. At that level of health, I'm fully expecting Giga Drain to take him out, and it doesn't! Holy crap! He survives the hit, goes for the close combat, gonna get me down to 55 HP. Now I'm thinking, well, but uh, the good thing now, I guess, is that he can't switch out because he'll die to entry hazards. Interestingly, he does switch out. Uh, I actually, actually guess no, that's not true. Entry hazard is just one sixteenth to him. Is that correct? Because it would do one eighth if it were regularly effective and fighting type resist rock. So yeah, here I'm just going. I'm going to save Jufro for later. Go out into Peanut. I'm thinking Peanut can probably take a hit from Jirachi. This is probably a physical attacker. He goes for the fire punch. That is great. It's not stab or anything. I take that hit quite well. I'm thinking I can probably survive one more hit. Go for the earthquake, and I might be able to take him out. Goes for the iron head. And he's going to get the flinch. Now, the thing is, flinch, uh, he has a 60% chance of flinching me with thanks to Serene Grace, so it actually would have been hacks if he hadn't flinched, but still I was really hoping that I would be able to get off an Earthquake. So that is a dead Donphan, and now his one layer of spikes is here to stay. Uh, his Jirachi is going to go for a Fire Punch, but you know what? I am bulky. I am 252 HP, 252 defense, bold nature. I can tank these hits the worst he can do is burn me, and I'm a special attacker anyway, so he's just going to keep going for the fire punches, and I figure I can just go for the calm mines, uh, go for the thunderbolts, and eventually it'll be able to do enough that I'll be able to actually do damage to this Jirachi, and I'll be able to recover off whatever health I need with Wish, so this is a good situation. A good situation all around. Uh, his Jirachi decides not to stay in and decides instead to go for the U-turn. That is fine. I think I just go for the Wish this turn. He goes out into Hitmontop, uh, as you see, he does survive, because it must do 1 16th. Uh, yeah, I think that's the mechanic. Anyway, I go for the wish. I figure I should actually be faster than him, because it's doubtless... He's no doubt... It would make no sense for him to be running speed EVs. And indeed, I get my leftovers first. I go for the Psy Shock. It's going to take him out, and so my entry hazards are up for good, too. So we've both lost our spinners. He's got one layer of... Uh, spikes up, I've got one layer of stealth rock up, and now his Ferrothorn is going to come back out, I'm obviously going to need to switch out, I don't know what I'm going to do here, I, I go out into Jufro because I actually have an idea. I don't think he's running any attacking moves, so he's going to go for the Leech Heat, I figured he that's what he was going to do, so it's a wasted turn for him, I'm going to go for the Taunt, going to prevent him from doing anything else. He goes out actually into Jirachi, and then I figured I was just going to go for Endeavor, and that would get my health down, I mean, my health is pretty low, it would get his health down low enough that I think I would be able to revenge it with someone else. So I have, you know, the strategy works fine against Jirachi too, he goes for Fire Punch, it's going to take out Jufro. I mean, that's just obvious, so, bye-bye, Jufro, you did good work, you actually, uh, this was actually, I really like this battle because it showcased a lot of the strengths of my team, and a lot of players on my team really did go to their full potential. Anyway, HCHB, the Pokemon who I keep revising over and over again, now, now running Solid Rock, fully, um, uh, physical attacker, and, um, Life Orb. So, here I go for the Shell Smash, because I think if he had the Grass-type attacking move, he would have gone for it already. So, not sure what he's gonna do, but I don't think he's gonna go for a Power Whip, I don't think he's gonna go for any other move like that. He goes for the Leech Seed, that's actually what I was expecting. So, that's all well and good. Now, he could go for the Protect here, he might not though, and just in case he doesn't, I think that at plus two I should be able to take him out with a Low Kick. So go for the low kick, Ferrothorn is a pretty heavy Pokemon, and oh, he survives on just a sliver of HP, and that's so painful! Oh man! So here he's gonna go ahead and set up a layer of spikes. Now here, now this is a really risky play for me, but I think that he's going to go for the protect. So I figure go for another shell smash, and that should allow me to, uh, yeah, that'll get me my um, stats up really high, and that should hopefully help me out quite a bit. So I go for another shell smash, get my attack and speed through the roof. No Pokemon on his team will be able to outspeed me now, even if they were scarfed. And so here, now this is a really weird play that I did, but let me explain it. So, uh, yeah, so here... I know that there's the Iron Barb's recoil, and I don't want to take it, so I go for the Stone Edge, and thinking, I'm at plus four, it's stabbed, 
I think I could take out Ferrothorn at that level. Instead, he switches out into Politoed, Stone Edge connects, and I am able to take out his Politoed. So that is actually kind of awesome. Um, and now Drizzle is up. It's actually a shame. I really wish I'd been able to get a uh, Dream World Tortuga because the better nature or the better ability on HCHB with this set is not Solid Rock. It's Swift Swim, especially with all of the rain running around. I was really hoping that he was Bandit or something and wouldn't go for the Protect, but the Protect is going to allow him to take out HCHB thanks to those damn leech seed damages. So anyway, his torpedo is now at plus whatever. I'm hoping that Jirachi can take a hit again. Jirachi is max uh, HP, max defense. He goes to the waterfall, so I think I can take that even in the rain, and indeed I do. Uh, I was really grateful for no flinch, and now I go for the Thunderbolt, and I'm thinking, okay, even, at, even though I've got no special attack investment, I think I can take him out because Sharpedo is so frail, and I take him out! That's amazing, and now he's down to his one last Pokemon, which is Ferrothorn, which I don't think has any attacking moves. And, I mean, it'll, I'll have to be able to, to get to plus six before I can take him out, but I think I'll be able to take him out before he takes me out. So, uh, I've got, I think, like, eight wishes left. More than that, I must have more than eight. I have got like 12 wishes left, I think. But I've got enough wishes left that I think I can stall this guy out. So it all depends on what his last move is, I guess. Uh, maybe it's a residual move like... Um... I don't know. Uh, will o -Wisp, does Ferrothorn even carry? I don't think Ferrothorn carries the will o -Wisp. Whatever. Uh, the point is, I'm, he, is, the final move turned out to be Seed Bomb, so here I know I can completely wall his set for days, and it'll take me until I get to plus six before I can take him out, but eventually I will be able to take him out, it might take some crits, but in the long run, even a crit from him isn't going to do any damage to my Jirachi, and a crit from me will do quite a lot. So, it took me about 20 turns to convince him of this fact, but after those 20 turns he finally did see that, yeah, I did actually have this match in the bag, so he agreed to resign, and he did. I've actually cut out those 20 turns because no one wants to watch that. So that's that. I'm ending on a win after a fashion. And so thank you so much, MQ18. That was a really, really excellent battle. And folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Now stay tuned for a special tribute.